New Mexicans are hauling their coolest vintage toys off the shelves and out of storage this week. A famous antique toy collector is in town right now spending major money. News 13's Brittany Bade shows you why the collector loves coming to New Mexico. Fine football, baseball cards, and football cards. Collector's items that have long been collecting dust. I've had some of this stuff in my garage for so long. Are making their way to America's Toy Scout this week. Oh, yeah, 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 that's exactly right. Little records, you had all the, all the greatest stars. Bill Geis is one of a few hundred people across Albuquerque looking to see if his old toys. I used to collect miniature toy guns. When I was still a teenager, See, 29 cents. Are worth more now than they were in the 60s. They were gifts, birthday presents and Christmas, things like that. You know, so uh, after carting them around for 50 years, I guess, uh, I guess I got some kind of payback for them. America's Toy Scout owner, Joel McGee. Oh, that's cool. Look at you. you got your own grocery store right there. Says some people already struck gold. We had actually two Disney collections come in, and they're worth $5,000 between the two of them. These toys are almost 100 years old and aged well, thanks to New Mexico's dry weather. You have a nice dry environment here, and it really does protect the toys. So we see a much higher quality of toys in these uh, arid desert type areas. Right now, McGee says they are really after toys from the 80s. When people reach about the age of 40, they want their toys back, hence the 80s. But I guarantee you, Harry Potter's coming up really soon. But even so, toys from decades before that. From a rifleman's toy rifle and a Mattel saddle gun. Like Geiss's toy guns. I could do 125 if that helps. Okay. All right. Cool. Excellent. Are still going for a pretty penny. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. America's Toy Scout will be set up again tomorrow morning at the Courtyard Marriott off Paseo and I-25, then head to Santa Fe for another two-day show. We have the times and locations on our website, always on krqe.com.